come out here and teach. Simple and plain, that's our job, you know? And like I said, whether they were here or for beer, you know, I'm gonna start off. All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokha Kodash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to Allah Akim doing and pushing his word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom Akim. Now, yeah, like I said, that's our job, you know? It tells you here, I'm going to read a scripture right real quick. It tells you here in Proverbs what, what, what the instruction is to do. Proverbs chapter 1, Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 7. Fear Yahweh. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So you got a lot of youngins out here who won't stop to hear this word because in their minds, they have no, they, they're void. They have no understanding, okay? There's no anything in them to hold it. The scriptures also tell you that Tells you that uh Pardon? Yeah, we have our um channels up on YouTube. And the people who wanna inquire, who hear this word, who are interested where the law is drawing them, they go and watch and sit and learn. And eventually so if the, the Lord is with them, they go out on the highways and byways and teach too as well. And we have brothers all even in uh, Africa, uh, Europe, UK, everywhere. Saudi Arabia, okay? Yeah, okay? All around the world. Uh, in the we Philippines. The to the Bible? Yes. Saudi? Yeah, but they gotta be careful. Because, you know, that's Sharia law. But they don't, you know, those Muslims. They acknowledge the Bible. Before they used to say, ah, the Bible. Now all of a sudden they're saying, no, we don't reject the Bible. We, the Bible is true. The God of the Bible is true. Before they never used to talk like this, eh? Never. Now all of a sudden they, a whole bunch of Imams, they're coming out and, uh, yeah, we believe in them. When I used to be Muslim, they never spoke like that. Uh, Surah 10 and 90, uh, Surah 10 and 94, 92. Oh, Muhammad, if you're confused, go to those who read Torah. That's the Surah. Jonas 10 and 92. That's the, the chapter in the uh, thing. But we don't go with that Quran stuff because the Quran is not, it's not, it, it, it's fake. Okay, it's been put together. Yes, it's been put together. Okay, who's Muhammad's wife? Who was Muhammad's wife? Who was Muhammad's wife? Khadijah was Muhammad's wife. She was a black woman, a so-called black woman that bought him as a slave, okay? She handed him the Quran, okay? I used to be Muslim. I know the falsehood of, of, of Muslims, okay? I know the falsehood of the Quran, okay? As a matter of fact, the Quran establishes the Bible. The Bible doesn't establish the Quran. The Bible is a book full of prophecy. The Quran is full of nothing. They talk about the Wajat, the one-eyed man coming back. Get that garbage out of here, okay? The Bible is the only book. The Quran is not but trash, all right? I'll say it like that. All right, that's what the Quran is. The Bible is the only. Yeah, well, look at this. No, this book is a book of prophecy. The Quran, I told you, I read the Quran already. I used to be a Muslim. I used to be such a good Muslim, okay? Making two, three prayers trying to wake up two three in the morning where the angels are hearing me and all that stuff I, yeah i used to be a, a muslim 
And when I came to question the Imams, the Imams had no answers because it was bullshit, okay? When you come to the Bible, it's 100% real, okay? No, no, no. No, I don't need no uh, prayer of the Quran because I told you already, Khadija, his wife, gave that to Muhammad to uphold and offset the invasion from those people. They had no gods. I mean, they had over 300 and something gods, man. They are crazy and rebellious people. So all of that right in there, when we tell a, a Muslim, show me a prophecy inside the, the Quran for today, and they can't show me none. We don't have no website, I told you, it's YouTube. Yeah, go to KDC, or better yet, go to GMS. GMS, okay? Israelites, okay? Because we don't play with the Quran. We don't play with uh, Talmud. Talmud's a nasty book. Okay? Those are not books of Yahweh Shimei or Shai. The book of Enoch. All those, it, 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 all those are garbage. Okay? I'm going to read you the scripture real quick. Okay, either way. Yeah. No, you don't read the Quran. No, no, no. No, and no, and no. Okay? That's not what the Lord said to do. The Lord said, hear my word. The Quran is not the Lord's word. In fact, the Quran comes in the name of Allah, right? Do you know that Allah can be found in the Bible, in Hebrew? Where'd they get that from? The Arabic language was only made uh, in the second, third century BC. Greek language comes before that. The Hebrew language is what the angels speak. We don't come with no Quran, okay? The Quran is a damn book. All right? Curses on you, man, because you're not listening. And that's what we tell our people, man. Stay the hell away from those books. All right? Those books ain't nothing but garbage. The true and living power is found right here in the Bible. It's not found in no Quran. We tell you, show us a prophecy in the Quran. Talk about the Wajad, the one-eyed man. What the hell is that? Look, get the hell out of here with that crap, man. That stuff will get me heated, man. was going good because I was talking to her um, even before I started the, the camera let me see if my camera's running proper this is damn devils they'll come up and do some sneaky shit like that but even before uh, uh, you know I was over here setting up camp she came up and she goes oh what's this da, da, da. And he, I, I knew it from the start I said you sneaky little devil man but I'm a, I, I knew it in the spirit I will curse her ass out man Cause that's all these people do. They come up, pretend that they're one with you. They want to hear, oh yeah, yeah. But then they start br bringing in damn near heresy. <laughs> she wants to talk about the Quran. First she's talking about the Bible. Yeah, the Lord, the Bible, yes. Yeah, preach it, brother. That reminds me of the scripture. These are people that draw near me with their mouth, but not with their deeds, right? So then all of a sudden she switched it up, as you saw. And start talking about the fucking Quran. Get the fuck out of here. I reject that book fully. Like I told her. And I started asking the mom questions and, and, and their brothers and all this stuff. They couldn't answer the questions. Because it, it was not with them. That's why we don't deal with no damn Quran, man. Get that wicked, 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 wicked book out of here, man. To hell with them all. They all could go to hell, man. They, uh, uh, slack, yeah. They are going to go to hell, okay? They're gonna be in that fucking everlasting fire, man. Which is for a time. But anyways, Isaiah chapter 34, and I was trying to get this, I was getting so mad. Isaiah chapter uh, 34 and verse uh, 16. Seek ye out the book of Yahweh and read. None one of these shall fail. And what is they talking about? The prophecies, man. All these prophecies are written in this book. 
comes to pass. Everything that the Lord says to happen will happen, okay? This woman talking about the damn Quran. Get out of here, man. This shit gets me heated. Like, you know, you know the scriptures. All of a sudden, you're talking about a damn Quran. Get the hell out of here, man. We don't, we don't, we don't serve that, okay? We come in no other uh, names of different gods and all that shit, all right? Um, oh, yeah, 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 it's locked. That's why I was going to go into that scripture, broken vessel, man. That's how these two thirds are. Like a damn broke, broken vessel that can hold no, no water, no nothing, you know, no knowledge, right? Um, Sirach chapter 39 of verse 18, at his commandment is done whatsoever pleases him. And none can hinder when he will save, okay? So whatever the Lord wants to happen and ushers it to go forth, that's it, it's going forth. You can't stop it, I can't stop it. Proverbs chapter 21 and verse uh, 30, okay? Fucking, that shit pissed me off, man. And the, and the, and the thing about it is, these people come up acting as if they know, you know? And then they're some big scholars or something. I've been in church all my life. You've been in a whorehouse all your life, man. Show, show me where that is. Show me where that is. You, you've been reading this Bible your whole flipping life, but yet you don't know, yet you don't know where scriptures are. You know? Yet you don't know where scriptures are. You've been reading this Bible your whole flipping life, but you don't know where scriptures are. Show us how much love you really have for the Lord, right? So anyways, going back into this, seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read. None one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it have commanded, it have commanded, and his spirit it have gathered them. And who is them? The rest of the elect that shall be out here are, Lord willing that we be of that elect. The rest of the brothers who are out here are supposed to be teaching them. Just like I told her before uh, I turned on the camera, what is our job? Our job is to be out here on the highways and byways doing this work, okay? Push, push, push it forth what the Lord wanted us to push forth, man. Not what our own vain opinions and own vain thoughts are. So going into this, Going back off of that, and soon we're gonna get into these rebellious fucking children out here too. The Lord said, "Don't, don't be happy for them, man. Don't, don't be a, uh, you know, uh, what's this? Actually, you know what? Let me just, uh, no, I'll get, I'll get it. If it. You know what? If I bump into it, which I should, I'll just quote it real quick. Sixteen. Um, That's funny, there is no 16 on that page. But well, actually, just the end of the book. Yeah, it tells you, um, so Rack chapter 16 and verse uh, 1. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children, neither delight in ungodly sons. Right, because they're going to be out there not listening to the commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. What you're supposed to be doing is gathering up this instruction, you know, Living your life in the right, in the right aspects, meaning in the way of God, that the way to have, that the way that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has written for you to live, right? That's how you're supposed to be living. But going into uh, Proverbs one, so yeah, we'll, uh, slack here. I'm gonna keep second Ezra 15 real quick. And that's the problem.
problem with our people. They don't want to learn. They don't want to know nothing. They just want to stay in the stay in the fucking crib and play Xbox and PlayStation. Okay. Lord said to come out here and do this work. That's why you see the brothers in that fear, okay, of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and filled with that knowledge, coming out on the highways and byways and teaching, man. It's simple, you know. I don't care. I don't care what's going on in my life, okay? But it tells you Revelation chapter 11, they love not their life unto, de unto death, right? If I'm not mistaken. That, what, what kind of life is this to be loved, man? Where people want to tell you that, where people want to tell you that, yeah, go read the Quran. It's fucking madness, stupidness, yo. Dumbasses, man. Go read the Quran. Fuck the Quran, man. Fuck your goddamn Quran. Fuck the sons of bitches. Now, that's why I was trying to teach her that the word Allah can be found in the Bible. Okay? And where'd they get that from? Like I said, where'd they get that from? They got that from the Hebrew. Okay? They got that from the Hebrew. In Arabic or fucking uh, whatever the um, Slacky, one second. That language ain't even old, man. It was made up in the second century BC. And like our apostles and the rest of the brothers say. What language were they most commonly speaking before? That would have been the Hebrew, okay? That would have been some other uh, language. They were speaking Chinese. Get the hell out of here, man. And these scholars know this, man. These scholars know this. It's the mere fact that that message Stella Stone, King Mesha or whatever, right, has Hebrew on it. Those guys knew Hebrew, man. You gotta remember too that Esau Edom wanted these people, the so-called white man, wanted these people to turn away from their laws, statutes, and commandments. That was always that was always the way with these people, you know. Gather all these people up as one. Let all the heathens forget their laws. Let all the the, the Israelites forget their laws. Let's all join up and be one. That was always a wish from the evil man to do away with us, you know. That, that, it tells you that in um, Psalms 83, you know, cut us off from being that nation, that the name of Israel will be no more in remembrance, man. So going back into this, all right, let's go into, uh, uh, let's read over Isaiah one more time. Isaiah chapter 34. Actually, there was something else before that. Yeah, let me get, let me get, let me slide back over here for a second. The book of Proverbs, all right? Proverbs chapter 1 and verse uh, and I was trying to tell her this Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 5 a wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel okay and how is he going to do that by those who are out there on the highways and byways pushing his word out there right that's all our job is Go out there in the highways and byways, man. Push out this word, okay? So our people, in due time, you know, they could pull back from their wicked ways. Because once you hear once, you hear twice, you hear three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times, you know? It tells you in Romans chapter, uh, what is that, Romans chapter 10, that verily our sound went in all to the, uh, went throughout the whole world, okay? And how was that done? By the internet, okay? We didn't need to get and go over here and go over there and take a plane and all this stuff. And that's what I was telling that lady. I'm like, look, man, this word, we have brothers all over the world, okay? Who sat down, you know, didn't need to go, on a, didn't need to go to America, right? They heard it on the internet. They sat there, they listened, 
and the spirit of Yahweh was working with them to gather up. Okay, so they gathered up that instruction, and now look at them. They're given instruction. They have the ability through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai to give instruction, to teach you, to put you on the right path, to pull you away from that uh, uh, everlasting, that 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 second death. All right, more better to say. All right. And that's what I was trying to show that lady last week. You know, you're getting Gehenna, hell, Gehenna, um, Hades. You're getting all those things mixed up. And why? Because you don't have a route. You don't have a proper guide. You don't have a proper man of the Lord in front of you. You don't have a man of the Lord in front of you, actually, bottom line. You have somebody that's telling you, you have somebody who's telling you wrong instruction, not breaking down the scriptures right, not teaching you right, okay? Teaching you out of their own vain opinions, teaching you by what the government has set, that 501c3 C, uh, C3 standard, all right? We don't need no 501c3 to come out here and speak on the highways and byways. We speak this word regardless if you people gonna listen or not, all right? Regardless of if you people going to listen or not, we come out here week in, week out, Lord willing, to teach us word. Let's go to verse... Uh, Proverbs chapter 1, the oldie but a goodie. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 20. Wisdom crieth without... She utters her voice in the streets. That's where we are, in the streets. You're not supposed to go to a church house. The Lord told you in Acts chapter 7 and verse 48, don't go to those places. Those places are fucking whorehouses, man. You see how the ladies be dressing in there? All types of adultery be happening in there. Perverse spewing be happening in there. They're not speaking the words of the Lord. Blasphemy is going on inside of there. Hypocrites, all types of shit is going on inside those places, man. That's not a church house. That's a whore house. And like I said, the Lord told you in the very same Bible that you read not to go in those places. To be here on the highways and byways, these hedges, where everybody can come and see us, where everybody can come and hear us. The Lord said to be ye here. But where are they? They're in a fucking scam. They're inside of a fucking church, a goddamn scam house, okay? Where people like Joel Osteen pull the wool over your eye, man. And you love it. Because you love those sweet words, those smooth things. That's how Jake is, man. Don't give us the real, just give us something, sort of. These are people that draw near me with their mouth, but not with their deeds, man. Their actions are far from me. Our people are knee-deep shit, knee-deep in wickedness, man. Don't, don't be smiling at me. That's all right. Don't be smiling. Because y'all love the world. But this right here, this is foreign to y'all. Y'all got the spirit of wickedness above you. Don't, don't be smiling at me. Because your how about Shim Yahusha going to do away with you little chicklings. All right? You love the streets. You follow the streets. Don't be smiling at me. Because when we come out here, we don't come out here in peace. I don't want peace. I want war. Alright? Just like my just like my our father is in heaven and my big brother. Let me let me get that for you. Since y'all think this is a fucking joke. Since y'all think this is a fucking game, let me get this scripture for you. Exodus chapter 15 and verse 3. Yahweh is a man of war. He's a man of war. You think you guys think this is a damn joke? The Bible ain't real. To hell with that that thing. Go worship your sky that uh, a sky daddy, right? But when sky daddy start putting a clamp on you guys, start putting the buck shots on your ass, man, which he already is ramping up. That's why the apostle elder said this is the year of turn up, man. Little fucking hot hole, but she want to smile on me. And the next one, itching for dick, bitch. You ain't getting this. The fuck down the street, you little slut. 
Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. You understand that? So our father, which is in heaven, right? He ain't, he ain't no joke. He's not coming to play games with you guys. In fact, he didn't send his son to, 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 to slap hands with us and ring around the rosy type shit. That's exactly what y'all in your, your, your stupid church houses teach. That Jesus is coming back to play ring around the rosy. And he's going to be nice to everybody. He's going to hand out candies. He loves everybody. So don't worry. Hate, hate the sinner. Hate the sin, not the sinner. Fuck out of here. The Lord said, I'm going to do away your ass, man. You don't want to listen to my word? I'm going to catch you off guard, man. Be on your P's and Q's when I come back. Because if you're not, your ass is going to be written in the earth. Let's get something real quick. This is the same one you call Jesus, right? This is the same son of the Most High, right? The same one who ain't playing no games. The Lord said to follow after me. Here, the Lord said, this is my well-beloved son. Hear ye him. Mark chapter 9, verse 6, if I'm not mistaken. Okay? Let's get some real quick. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. I want war. Okay? I don't want no peace. I want war. Okay? That's what the Lord is saying. I don't want no fucking peace with you people here. I want war. All right? The Lord ain't coming back with uh, 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 candies and huggy beers and all that stuff ringing around the fucking rosy. The Lord is coming back to do devastating destruction. And all y'all people sitting back, video games, foot up on the couch, Sunday hockey, Sunday football, pass me a beer, get the hell out of here, man. When the Lord comes back, you guys gonna be crying, weeping and mashing the teeth. And you think it's a damn joke. Keep thinking it's a damn joke, man. When the Lord comes back, he gonna tear this place up. That's why these two little young sluts walking by here thinking it's a damn joke. Keep thinking it's a fucking joke, man. That's why the Lord said don't delight in the ungodly children, man. All they want to do is wickedness all day. They want to tell off their parents. They, want, they don't even want to listen to their parents. The TV is their government. The TV rules them. And nowadays, it's not even the TV anymore. It's the fucking cell phone in your hand. Access just like that to wickedness. That's why the Lord said that my people are foolish, man. Here it is. You got a man on the corner yelling, telling you, look, change your damn ways, man. They said Noah was building that ark for the longest time, screaming at the top of his lungs. And it didn't make sense to the other people, but it made sense to Noah. And then all of a sudden, that flood came and took them on the weirs. That's the same thing that's happening now because the Lord said what? As in the time of Noah, so shall what? Exactly. Jeremiah chapter 4 and 22. For my people are foolish. They have not known me. They are astonished children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. You understand that? Let me read that one more blasted time because maybe you got some kind of shit in your ears or coming ears or something. Jeremiah chapter 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sad as children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. Wise to do evil? <laughs> wise to do evil? Like I said, every minute... They don't want to listen to their parents. They don't want to listen to no instruction. They got that cell phone in their hand at a, at a, at a, at a moment's brace, man. They typing up wickedness. 12 o'clock at night, 1 o'clock at night, 6 a.m. in the morning, 3 a.m. Whatever time feels just for them to do their wickedness, right? They have no time for the Lord, but they got time for wickedness, right? How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? 
for my people is foolish, they have not known me, they are Scottish children, they have none understanding, they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Just like it tells you in Hosea 4 and 6, man. Let's get that real quick. <laughs> I mean, th 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 this shit gets you mad sometimes, man. Here it is, you're talking to your people and they're skimmering and laughing and skinning teeth. You're trying to show them the instruction, try to show them the way. You know? We're not saying we're we're not saying that we don't we don't have sin. We're in this flesh. We try our best to do our best, man. With all our might. But what do you guys do? Not even not even a little try, man. Not even a little try. Huh? We're trying our best, our damnedest, as, as they say, our darndest, right? To please Yahweh Hashem Shai. We know the actions that he can do. We read them in the Bible all the time. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. The Lord said he kill, he make alive. He wound, he heal. Okay? What more do you want? All I know, what do they say in life? It's life, death, bad and good. That's the, the four things guaranteed in life, man. Life and death, good and bad, yo. Doesn't matter if you're rich or poor. Four things are guaranteed in life. Life and death, good and evil, okay? That's the four things you can bank on that you're gonna encounter in life, okay? Life, good and evil, and then death, you out. Doesn't matter, you can be rich, poor, whatever the fuck it is. You're going to encounter good or evil one day. Right? Simple and plain. And death, you're going to encounter it one day. But what have you been doing while you were here? You weren't doing shit. You're sitting back, hearing the man on the highways and byways, like such as myself, speak, looking at him and going, ha, ha, ha. Right? Good for your ass, man. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. What knowledge is that? Where's the knowledge can be found? can be found in the scriptures okay that's where the knowledge is found that's where the word is found that's where the power is found that's where the spirit is found right here in these words man but you know nothing about it right sitting back daunting on your damn couch smoking your fucking cigarettes your weed all day drinking your head off all fucking night right never putting no account never putting no interest Never putting a, 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 a goddamn fucking minute into saying to yourself, yo, you know what? Let me go check those scriptures out. Let me hear what's going on, man. Let me see if I needed instruction or reproof. Never. But like I said, one day you in, you're going to encounter the other thing, which is death. And you're going to wish, hey, man, I wish I had to stop and smell the fucking roses and heard those words and followed after them. And did likewise, but no. You know what you like? You like you like you like this society. You like this place. Psalms 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue on forever. You're not gonna continue on forever. Every fucking society goes down, man. The Lord said that He ruleth in the kingdom of men. He set up who He wants, not you. He sets up who He wants. And as it is written in 2 Ezra, chapter 6 and 9, what? That Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning that followeth. Us, Yashra Allah, Israel, okay? Israel, we got next. Not the rest of you people out here in the world. You're going to be all, all, all underneath our feet, okay? We're going to have rulership over you, okay? We're going to have dominion over you. Just like in this society, the so-called white man has dominion over all, Right? Esau, Edom. We're going to have dominion over all. And we're going to rule in righteousness. Not no garbage like these guys are ruling in. Okay? These guys out here, they don't rule right. They have the instruction book in front of them, but they toss it behind them. Psalms chapter 50 and 16. Hosea chapter 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And like I said, where's the knowledge found? Right here in the Bible. Okay? Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I also, uh, Salakia, I will also reject thee, 
that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law, the law of thy God, thy power, I also will forget thy children. And you are your children coming back in, 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 in the regeneration, man. Okay? And what do you think about that? As you can see, you're void. You have no understanding. You're lost. Okay? You don't want to listen to the instruction that's given to you. Just like Esau, Edom is his forefathers coming back. Right? We, on to the third and fourth generation, just the same thing. Back in the past, you did wickedness onto the Lord. And now you're coming back again, doing more wickedness. Smiling, laughing, and skinning your goddamn teeth. Think it's a fucking joke. Keep thinking it's a joke, man. When the Lord come and do his work, then you'll see. Let me go into 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures. And when you come into this, uh, when you come into this truth, thou art a babe. You drink that milk, and you grow thereby, and eventually you come out here on the highways and byways and teach. At one point, I was a babe. There are other brothers out there as well that's on the highways and byways teaching every week diligently in and out in all honesty truth and sincerity there were babes just as well the apostle elders there's before them too as well it's all a process okay in wisdom of solomon tells you that every king goeth into the world the same way and every king cometh out the same way wisdom of solomon chapter 7 right i know i butchered that. i could you know phrase it better but there is no king that have any beginning of entrance that way, and there's no king that have any beginning of entrance out the other way, right? Fuck, only niggas, man. Only niggas gonna do that. Let me play a nuclear spear game with you. Fuck off, man. Don't watch me. Just like I told those other bitches, those other little bitches, look, we're not out here for no games. Don't smile on me, don't be laughing and joking with me, because this ain't no damn joke. Like the scripture says, better that you didn't hear this than you did hear this. If you want to be in your continual wickedness, you know, because the Lord gonna get in your ass, man. That well, that that's another thing too. The Lord brings people up here to get condemned. Okay, a lot of times we always like, why, oh why, fuck the hell with these guys. And like uh, today, uh, Ellen Manatas Akbar, if I'm not mistaken, Karataza or no. Manatas Akbar, South Carolina. It was live earlier. And you know, the brothers getting down, putting down the scriptures, eating, eating, eating. And the brothers out there were there, they were doing their work. But then some, you know, shifty individuals came up. They were at, they, well, one individual, he was at the, the camp across the street. The other brothers are, let's just say, some other Hebrew Israelite brothers teaching. All right? And I guess he didn't like. I guess he didn't like what they were saying, so he came. You know, you know how Jake is. They get butt hurt. They want they want somebody to rally up with them. They want somebody to you know be on their side and whatnot. So they came across to uh, the elder. You know, they say, hey, get the hell out of here. I ain't here. I ain't here to uh, look, uh, help you mend your wounds or anything like that. Cause I, you Israelites feel like you know we all the same group and we all you gotta learn, man. You gotta learn that there's different doctrines out here as well, right? Just like there's Jehovah's Wickedness, right? Seven Day Adventist, Methodist, all of it. Look, same with Israel, man. Okay? What do you think? There's no infiltration amongst us? Hell yeah, there is. But amongst the true brotherhood, no. But within these different camps, yeah, there's people who are fucking cops, 
people are probably CIA, FBI, all types of shit inside these other camps, okay? And we tell you that. We tell you, hey, prove the spirit. Try the spirit, man. Try the spirit. Don't just be linking up with these guys like that. Because next thing you know, you got somebody in your camp trying to do some wickedness, trying to do some kind of uh, cunning wickedness and draw you in. And then uh, uh, next thing you know, everybody gets labeled. Yeah, you see these guys blew some shit up. That guy went and stole some shit. Da -da 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 -da. So that individual came up thinking that he was going to get some kind of, uh, you know, comfort from the elder. But he came up to get, uh, um, uh, 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 what's the word? Um, confounded, okay? He really, the Lord really sent him up to get confounded both ways, okay? So that's what's going to happen with you two-thirds, man. You, you think that we're here to give you some kind of... Uh, pat on the back or you know help you lick your wounds is, hey when you come into this truth everything becomes bitter bitter okay that's why the truth tells you about that okay everything becomes bitter man your life becomes bitter you look around you know it's like remember the matrix when you see on the screen all of that numbers as we peer around Akim that's how we see this world we see it with the scriptures in mind Meaning that we, every time we turn around, we see, oh, like in in uh, Anon, that movie Anon or whatever, you got the name tag of the person above their head. Well, when we look at certain individuals out here and certain things and just looking around, the scriptures pop up just like that. Hey, this is Isaiah chapter 9 and 2. Hey, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 9 and, and, and 6 right there, you know? Hey, this is the work of the Lord. This is the Lord's judgment right here, you know? But once again, we see different from you people because the Lord has put it, put it in our spirit to be this way. When you go into Ephesians chapter 1, talk about those individuals who are predestined, okay? What the hell is this guy honking for? Fuck out of here, man. This is nonsense. Guys, you turn and you're honking? Jackass. They all about shit, you should destroy a wicked ass, man. Need for speed, man. Yo, slack, yo. I was trying to go into something, man. Like this. You know what? Now I lost the scripture because of that damn demon, man. Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 7. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcome, I will give. Slap here. I will give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Okay? He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches, right? These people ain't listening. They ain't got the spirit. The spirit's not with them. You know? This, these words are on to our people. This, this word isn't for the whole world to get down with. Okay? It's on for you Israelites to hear this word. As a matter of fact, it tells you that in... Uh, Ma Ma uh, Micah chapter 3 and verse 1. And I said, Here, I pray you... O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? Right. Is it not for you to know the way of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? To know these ways? Is it not for you? Right. It is for you. Stop letting these people tell you that. Oh, the Bible is the so-called white man's book. You see him picking it up and reading it right? No. In fact. He'll read it and tell you, oh yeah, you know, flames can, can make it into heaven. He'll read it and tell you, it's okay, take that microchip. You know? He'll read it and tell you some bullshit that's contrary uh, uh, against the scriptures. A broken vessel, a broken vessel is not going to hold no water, okay? 
I don't care how much time you try to throw water in that bitch. A broken vessel will hold no knowledge. A bro like like it says in uh Syrac 21, as a house destroyed. What is that to you? A house destroyed. You can't use it, you can't occupy it, you can't do nothing. And like I said, S thou can tell where the, the, the tap or the fridge is. Go to it and occupy and use it. And even when you use it. Damn idiot, man. Even when you use it or try to use it, it's not gonna be working right, it's not gonna be functioning right. Okay. That's like these individuals out here in these church houses, they have this book, but the operation to use it wasn't given to them. The keys weren't given onto them. Okay. They weren't given the proper instruction from Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. John chapter uh, 6 and 44. It's the Lord that has to do the drawing. Now we're going to walk up here and be a good Christian from here on in. It doesn't work like that. Um, so yeah, we're going to stick with this. We're going to stick with this uh, madness that this woman had said to me about read the Quran as well. Okay. Because this is the only book where you can found, find that uh, fountain of living water. Okay, let's get that real quick as well. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 13. And these, these things, you know, you got to go over them. Repetition is the, the father of skill, man. Of all skill. Okay? You got to go over them all over and over and over and over and over. Because Jake, the way that Jake is, if you, don't, if you don't put your hands on Jake and actually guide them, these motherfuckers will do and go all, like, look, I always use this example. Yo, Jake, there's paint on the wall, wet paint. What wall? That wall right there in front of you. The wall with the blue stripe? Yes, the wall with the blue stripe. Oh, okay. Turn your back one minute. Not even, for a couple seconds. Hey, man, there's paint all over me. That's exactly how Jake is. And then someone will even try to blame you. You said with the blue paint, but he didn't tell me exactly how wet it was. Nigga, I said it was wet. It'll, it'll, it'll fuck you up if you, get, if you get the wetness on you. And that's how some of our people are, man. You tell them something, all of a sudden they want to turn around and blame you. After they done... After they done fucked up and did damage to themselves, now all of a sudden they want to blame you. You didn't tell me how hot it was, you just said it was hot. You didn't tell me how wet it was, you just told me it was wet. They were fucking stupid, man, full of excuses, you know? Just like this woman coming with this tactic that as if you're supposed to read the Quran. What the hell is wrong with you? Where, do you, where did you get this nonsense? Where, who gave, where did you affirm this from? Who gave you that? Who gave you that? All right? I'll tell you, say that. Who gave you? It's not right. All right? But anyways, uh, Jeremiah chapter uh, 17 and 13. Oh, Yahweh, the hope of Israel. All that forsake thee shall be ashamed, and they that depart from me shall be written in the earth. And that nuclear fire comes. Okay? Because they have forsaken Yahweh, the fountain of living waters. All right? This is where that living water can be found. Not no stagnant water. Okay, I don't want no stagnant water. Do you? But all the, all the while that we're giving you guys the warning, you still don't want to take heed. Your way is better, right? Okay. We'll get that real quick. Let me see if I can find the scripture. Let me see if I can get the scripture here. I'm trying to get at this scripture real quick. Hold on one 
sick of hockey. I'm just trying to find this uh, scripture. No. Anyways, let's get back into the program at hand. Let's go to 2nd Ezra chapter uh, 15 and verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So we keep telling you individuals, like, look, this is an us. Let me get that scripture real quick. You know, they're always looking at us. You said it's the spirit of the Lord that speaketh within us, man. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 19. But well, when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. Okay? That's why we don't care what you individuals have to come up here and say. We don't care if you like it or not, because the spirit of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai is in operation of what's going on here. Okay, he's in control. Y'all ain't in control. You know, why you guys come up and talk that garbage? But you don't know the scriptures. You err in knowing the scriptures. Okay, you err in knowing the way of the Lord. That's why we were given that instruction, set forth to go on these highways and byways and give you this word and teach you okay going back to proverbs chapter one we'll get that real quick i know i'm all over the place but we'll get that real quick okay behold speak thou speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which i will put in thy mouth save the lord so that's what we're doing out here speaking these words which are written Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord. Okay? The Lord said, hey, Ezekiel chapter 3, he said, go, go speak my words. My words, not your words. Right? And we never claim and say, hey, I, 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 no, 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 the Lord. Okay? Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 4. Well, you know what? Let me uh, start from 1. Ezekiel chapter 3 and 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou finest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. The whole world? The house of Israel. Yashra Allah. Okay? He said, eat this roll, consume it. Read it, read it, read it. In fact, what did John have to do? And what happened when he ate that roll? Revelation chapter 10 and verse uh, 9. And I went unto the angel, and he said unto me, uh, Salakia, and said unto him, Give me the little book and he said unto me take it and eat it up and it shall make thy belly bitter in the mind okay but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey a lot of these guys like to do that use the, the words of the Lord but they use it deceitfully right speaking those sweet words those sweet things but when it comes to showing these people destruction, terror, what the Lord is going to do, they, they, they stem off of that. Because if you taught the people the real way, more than likely, they, they, they're going to be concerned about, they're going to follow the right path. They're not going to be in this money, money, money type of uh, attitude. You know? Meanwhile, we know that these motherfuckers with these 501c3s, you know, they're doing that for money. Filthy lucre. They're not doing that in all honesty, truth, and sincerity. They're not being truthful. They're not being sincere. They're not honest. Okay? They're not honest individuals. They're not being sincere with you. They're not being truthful with you. Okay?
bunch of bunch of noise boxes, man. So, anyways, going uh, back to what I was. Yeah, yeah. Continuing. Uh, verse ten, and I took the little book out of the hand of the angel, out of the hand of the out of the angel's hand, and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Yeah, because we start, like I said, the matrix, everything we look through, everything we peer upon on this world here and look at, we're just like, God damn, man. Romans chapter 8 and verse 22, we're groaning. We want this place to be destroyed because we can see the, the, the uh, uh, gross darkness of this world, man. We can see all of the, the, the ways that our people are being trapped up, okay? All the bullshit that is happening, right? We can see that. And it's, it's making us bitter because, look, this is all wickedness. There is no righteousness around, okay? The only righteousness that's around is the words of Yahweh Shem Yahushai and us actually trying to keep these actions. Us actually trying to keep and do these things. There's the only righteousness there found in the world, man. Okay? Because remember, Yahweh, why Yahweh is all righteous, right? Let's continue. So let's continue on now. Oh, yeah, 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 Slack, yeah. It's continuing in Ezekiel. So, continuing for Revelation, let's go into Ezekiel. Okay. The hell these people doing? Oh, yeah, that's good. So, I'll make sure because last time. I didn't even realize that I had about, I think it was like 17 gigs or something. 17 gigs eaten up on my uh, SD card. And I didn't even realize. If I had known, I would have raced it, but I didn't even know. Because that's the last time when I was out here and I was talking to that elderly woman. I wanted to really get into it while well, we were going. Damn near, I came out here at like 5 or 4 or something like that. And went till about 10 o'clock, you know. And we just kept going, you know. That's why the Lord said that they have a zeal, right? Okay, Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse uh, 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll. And go speak unto the house of Israel. What's the role? These scriptures, okay. Biblios, the Bible, okay? So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then I did eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. See that? Because this is a to us, you know, you could go double double with this, but to us, yeah. When we hear these words, when we speak these words, we know what we're talking about. So it is as honey in the mouth. But to on to other individuals, it becomes like a, uh, oh man, I gotta do this. I gotta go on the highways and byways with these guys. I wanted to do this today. I want to do that today. Every brother who's in this truth that the Lord has has his hand on they're gonna do this regardless how they feel you know some days you feel shitty some days you feel good what not and via whatever vice versa but this is of the Lord this is of Yahweh Shem Shai. they do it feeling restraint like ah, I gotta do this man I gotta do this but on to us we love doing this man this is sweet <laughs> you know but the world being bitter Anyways, and he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee 
go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. And that's what we're doing right now. We're speaking the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai onto his people. You know, us being his, part of his people, being the prophets, Lord willing. Lord willing that we're a part, that we're the elect, you know? That's why we always say the hopeful elect, okay? So anyways, continuing. 2 Ezra chapter 15 and verse 1. Behold, speak down the ears of my people, the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Now that's why I was telling that lady, the Quran don't carry no fucking prophecy. The only prophecy can be found here in the Bible, okay? The Quran don't got that. Quran's just a book of uh, uh, leaves, man. Everybody know that. I don't care what. Look, you gotta be a jackass to believe that shit, okay? And when you have no study, when you don't know, and you're talking as a fool, and you come up here to us, you're gonna get laid out flat. And we don't care how much times you try to get up. Boom! You're gonna get the KO again with the scriptures, man. Cause all that shit about the Quran, like I said, that's garbage. Get out of here, man. Where, where do you see where do you see the prophets of the Quran standing up? There is no prophecy that the Lord is gonna raise up Ishmael, Ishmaelites to come out here on the highways and byways, and they're gonna preach Muhammad and Allah and all this. Get the hell out of here, man. The only prophecy can be found right here. Not no wajad, not no one-eyed man coming back. On no fucking horse and all that bullshit. Because all that is BS. Okay? At its finest. Fugaziness. The only true words can be found here, man. Of, of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Not no fucking Quran. Get out of here. All you guys trying to kiss a fucking meteor stone. The Kaaba is so he That's fucking uh, 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 um, uh, full, of, full of gods, man. Full of uh, pagan worship gods, man. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> who the hell? Who, you think? You think we got one eye closed like that? Tells you what, Matthew. Let, let's get that real quick too, as well. Matthew chapter uh, twenty-four. You're not fooling us, man. You're not fooling us, man. Matthew chapter 24 and 24 For there shall arise false Hamashiach and false prophets Yeah, all these uh, motherfuckers out there in these different churches and even amongst us as well <laughs> Okay And shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect but it is not possible to deceive us because the spirit of Yahweh Hashem is uh, with us, okay? I'm trying to get Second Corinthians here. Second Corinthians chapter two and eleven. These Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. And the Lord is the one that put, put in our mind to be not ignorant of his devices. Devices don't just go into an actual device. Device can go into thoughts, intents, all of that. Okay? So we're not ignorant of the common day man's thoughts, his intents, the wickedness that be behind his eyes. We're not, we're not, we're not still, as they say, we can see through you. Just like all the jinn said that they can see through man, we can see through you too. Okay? And that's all through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. That's why they ain't gonna get no advantage over us. They ain't gonna trick us to, to follow the truth, go follow them. The scriptures tell you to follow not a multitude to do wickedness, man. Exodus chapter 23, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get that too. And that's all you two thirds do. Following a multitude on a daily basis to go do wickedness, man. But like I said, said back in Ezekiel 3 or 4 we speak with the words of the Lord we don't our own vein no 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 Exodus chapter 23 and verse 2 and verse 2 
Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a, in a cause to decline after many to rustle judgment. And that's what a lot of our individuals in the house of Israel do. Oh, you're a Rasta. Come join with us. Liberty, liberty. Move that Rasta out of here. That don't belong with us. That don't belong with us at all. That causes many to rustle after judgment. They're saying, what should we do? What should we do? Should we go with the Hebrew Israelites or should we go with the Rastas? You know, you're speaking in a manner that causes many to decline from proper judgment. You're speaking in a manner that steers away people from proper judgment. Okay? And you're not supposed to be speaking in that cause, in that manner. You're supposed to be giving them the true, unadulterated word of Yahweh Shem Yahshai, Ezekiel 3 and 4. Okay? Revelation, what we're telling you, eat this roll. Okay? Go and speak unto the house of Israel. Go speak unto your brothers and sisters. Okay? It ain't about trying to wake up the whole fucking world. It's all about the elect. Revelation chapter 7 and 4. Revelation 5 and 9. Okay? That multitude. That kindred. Okay? All the elect is, is gonna, who, who's gonna gather up to this? Okay? Romans 11. Let's go to Romans 11 real quick. Romans 11 and uh, 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which it seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. That's why it says what it says in Matthew 24 and 24. That's what it says in 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. The Lord has his hand above on these individuals, man. You're not going to steer them anywhere. We hear our porter, we hear our uh, shepherd's voice, man. We don't hear no other. And we're not going in the direction of others. We're going in the direction of what Yahweh Shem Yahshai said to do. Once again, Mark chapter 9 and 6. This is my well-beloved son. Hear ye him. And that's who we're hearing. That's the spirit that we're following. Okay? That's why the Lord said, go on the highways and byways. Find them. And we did what? All right, all right, Lord, we out. You know, we went, and here we are. You know, we heard the calling. You know, the how about Shimmy Shai is shaking up that spirit, blew that breath back in as the dry bones, the shaking and the rattling happened, the sinews and the skin being put back on, the identity. You know, the Lord put that identity back into you. And here you are, you're out in the highways and byways speaking. You know who you are today. Joel 2 and 28, Acts 2 and 16, 17. Same thing being reiterated. This is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. Okay? Uh, verse 2, uh, 2 Ezra 15, and verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And what paper are they written in? Right here, the Bible. Okay? All these words in the Bible are, are all these words in the Bible is pure. Proverbs 30 and 5. But yet everybody wants to reject this book. Everybody wants to lead their own way. Ecclesiastes tells you, better is he, you know, that have that necessary patience in seeking the Lord than he that leadeth his life without a guide, man. What's the best guidebook right here? Here, right here. This is the best guide. And like I said, that guy, you know, a couple of demons came up, little Edomite demons. So you're with us, sin. You're with us, sin. Hey, if the Lord has us, then yes. But as we see and as we're walking, we tell you, we go off sometimes. You're in the flesh. You're going to go off sometimes, but you're not proceeding. You're not actually walking towards the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Look from me in my eyes. Damn demons. So anyways, you're not you're not looking, you're not looking forward to the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. You're looking at how these people walk. Fucking demons. Okay? We, we're looking to the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Yeah, we're in this flesh, this sinful flesh. Oh, wretched man that I am. We don't come out here and say, oh, I'm all righteous. When you go to Romans chapter 3, it tells you that there's one that is righteous, all righteous, okay? 
And the scriptures also tell us that we all fall short of the glory. So there's no boasting of us out here. And oh yeah, I wanted to speak on this too because, hey, some individuals, when you speak these things, you know, you, you may have some brothers that they feel butthurt. I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this in front of the camera. Remember the apostle elders told you, stop putting those glowy eye shits in, 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 you know, those pictures and stuff, okay? Of yourselves and of the apostle elders. Why are you doing that, okay? You need, you ought to stop doing that shit, okay? There's no time to be big glorifying yourself here. Let Yahweh shy when he come back, okay? That, at that. And all that shit, all that scunt, all that, we're not gonna say that, you know, a brother had mentioned, he said, I don't think, uh, you know, when the brother's doing their, their worship, it's not about that. What it's really about is some other individuals might come in and see that. That is off. And I, and I never liked it. And like the Apostle Elder said, stop doing that shit. Stop doing that scunt. Okay? It's not about, you know, I understand they might have it, uh, good intentions in their heart. But, yo, I don't even want to hear that. Okay? Because... That can lead another on to destruction. That can start a whole new, uh, yeah, the deceiver and the deceiver are his, but that can start a whole new program, man. That can start a whole new game plan with these people, man. With those drawings, all the time with these fucking drawings. Drawing yourself like Superman and loading yourself and all that shit. If you don't see it, it's simply to be seen, man. It's right fucking there, you know? We understand in the kingdom we're going to be like that. Put, if anything, make that clarification. But put that shit to an end. Put that shit to a rest. Okay? You've been warned. Now, I don't give a fuck about nobody's feelings. Just like we ain't supposed to be giving a fuck about feelings. Okay? If you did it and you feel some type of way, hey, that's your own ass, man. Be a man. Be honest. Put it out there. You feel some type of way about it? We'll put it out there, say it. You know? I ain't up for no fucking skunk. This is like, this is the year of turn up. Hey, may Al Bashem Yahshai turn all our spirits up, man. I ain't about no fuckery. Standing out here, you know, doing this work. What, what, what you think? Doing this for fun? No, I'm doing this to get the fuck right. So like I said, Hey, the Apostle Edel said, put that shit to arrest. Put that motherfucking shit to arrest, man. It's not needed. And it makes our people go off. Fuck sakes, man. When instruction is given, stop fucking bucking up. Everybody got some little thing to say all the goddamn time when instruction is given out, man. Just shut the fuck up and follow instruction. Because you got a lot of motherfuckers who fell out of this truth now walking, talking shit about the apostle elders. And you know what happened? It's little things like that, that got built into them, up in their back, you know, like somebody stabbing, and they all store it up. And guess what? When the right time, when the time is right, and the Lord says, yo, get the fuck out of here, man. I don't need you. Then all of that shit comes crashing down. But like I said, the instruction was given out. Shut your fucking mouth and follow instruction. That's how we are around here, man. Not like some little girls, you know, but this and that. No, fuck that, okay? End the story. You know, a wicked man finding an excuse for every fucking goddamn thing, man. You know? To hell with that shit. The apostle elder said it from the top, stop doing it, man. You know, a lot of you guys screaming this DTA shit. Yeah, we know death to America. Leave that for the fucking Ishmaelites to say you have Hebrew. You learn to in Hebrew. Abad babal, abad babal, abad babal. Stop talking like goddamn fools, man. We all know that this man is going to come down on us. And he's going to use any fucking goddamn excuse. Stop being idiots, man. Follow instruction. All that DTA, DTA, DTA. You know it's abad babal. Stop putting that shit, man. Fuck's sakes, man. Now you guys want to be unruly. Remember that rebellion is a, sin, uh, a spirit of a spirit of sin, man, and is as witchcraft. As a matter of fact, let me get there right now. 
You got to say these things, man. And like I said, if any is offended, hey, that's your own. That's your own ass, man. Because we're not supposed to be coming to no fucking rebellious spirit. Okay? You hear you hear the charge? Then shut the fuck up and do what the, the apostle elder said to do. Simple and plain, man. When my brothers over there in New York told me, hey, brother, stop with that shit. Okay? It was cut the fuck out right away. Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, man. Okay? So you, you individuals out there, stop, stop being rebellious, man. Follow that order. And it's not, it's not, you know, that that's from the top already. Okay? I'm just reiterating. All you guys with this DTA shit, stop that crap. All you guys with your motherfucking drawings of drawing yourselves as highly powered dudes and fucking flaming glowing eyes all that shit will be in the kingdom man but for now you take the L you take the low as in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 15 has said alright enough of that shit man. if I'm in a comic board and I see that shit I'm gonna get at you brother not out of hatred just a admonishment okay I would expect it from you to me a lot of individuals oh you guys just be haters no 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 we love our brothers, man. And that's why when the brothers gave me my admonishment, okay, that slight warning, that little rebuke, uh, did I cry? No. I thank the brothers. I thank you. How about Shim Shai? And I thank the brothers. And I said, this is love. This is absolute true love. And I quoted the scripture. Okay? But you got, like I said, you got some rebellion fucking niggas. Okay? Rebellious niggas, man. They can smell it a mile away. You don't even got to be right beside them. You can smell it a mile away, man. Because we got that spirit to peer into things. You know, you put something up on a, a, a post, ain't nobody want to respond to it. You know, nobody ain't want to respond to it because they might feel a little butt hurt. You know what I'm saying? Hebrews 4 and 12, get it right. The Lord has no respect to a person, man. Neither shall I be, okay? Hey, but I know this guy for so long. Hey, well, if you know that guy for so long, it is love to give him that rebuke or that admonishment, man. Stop looking at it with worldly eyes, man. Be spiritual. Walk in the spirit of things, man. Stop taking it. Stop taking it. Stop hearing it and getting and getting all emotional. Stop getting carnal with it. Okay, you're a spiritual man. So deal with it. As a spiritual man, we deal with it. Okay. Enough of that. Anyways, verse uh, 3, Fear not the imagination against thee, let not the incredulable of them trouble thee, that speak against thee, Salakia, for all the unfaithful shall die in their own faithfulness. And that's it, man. We're faithful towards Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We're going to do this work onto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We're going to continue, Lord willing, Matthew chapter 24 and 13 on to the end. Okay. You think like Eleazar, us being up in our age, you know, a lot of brothers are up in age in this truth. Is it wise for us to step back into the world after knowing this truth and after learning this truth? Is it wise for us to step back in the world? Well, I got a scripture on that, boy. Scripture for everything, man. And that's what you two thirds don't get, you know. That's why they look at us and they go, oh, this fucking, because we love the brothers, man. There's love around here. True love. Not this fucking bullshit thing of the world. You know? Let's go to Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 11. Proverbs chapter 6, uh, Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 11. As a dog returned to his vomit, so as a fool returned to his folly. Okay? We can't be on that. Okay? Once we heard this word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, we turn. We turn back. We start marching toward it, eat and roll, all of that. Okay? And that's a nasty thing. You know, when a dog throws up and eats his vomit, so as you individuals who go back into the world, who hear this word. Okay? 
you, you, you join hand in hand with it for a moment. Oh, that's so sweet, God, and all this. And then you go flying back into the world like a dog returning on to his vomit. That's disgusting as all, all hell, man. When you get taught the right way, and then all of a sudden you say, no, I'm going to put it off. I'm going to go back into the world and, and run with the world. Well, good for you. Let's see what happens to you. Uh, first P uh, Second Peter chapter 2, 2 Peter chapter 2 and 22. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is returned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. In the mire. It's like you two thirds, man. You come join hand in hand for a little bit, and then eventually you say, To hell with this. I can't take this. I'm out. What the hell is this? Nope. I ain't. Nope. This is too sore for me. Oh, yeah. What is that? Wisdom of Solomon? Uh. This is my Solomon chapter 6. And, uh, hold on a second, let me find it. Verse 8 But a sore trial shall come upon the mighty. Okay? Because we're being tried, we're being tested, man. And a lot of individuals, they can't take that test. Okay? It's not something of one day, one minute, tough man competition. No. This is on to the ends, man. You got to keep going, baby. As they would say. Um, do, 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 do. Let's go to this real quick. Um, Sirach chapter 6 and verse 20. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. And he that is without understanding will not remain with her. She will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial. And that's what we're going through right now. A sore trial. <laughs> and he will cast her from him ere it be long. Okay? Before it be long, man. He's like, yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Done with that truth. Okay? And as it says, verse 22, For wisdom is according to her name. She is not manifest unto many. Okay? And we know that. We know that because we see it. It says that a prudent man will foresee it that evil and flee. But the simple pass on are punished. And you've seen that with a lot of our people, man. 200 and something rappers dead in one year. The year before it was 250 something. Or 270 something or whatever. Now this year is 250 something, right? If I'm not mistaken. Dead. Just like that. And you know them rappers, they must got kid pick me. 10 different baby mother, all that type of shit, right? Yeah. Uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, verse 15, 4 and 15, Slakia. Whosoever giveth ear unto her shall judge the nations, and he shall attain unto her. Uh, Salakia, and he that obtaineth unto her shall dwell securely. That's why we're telling you individuals that what? Proverbs chapter, what is that? 18 and uh, 10. The, uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth it to it and safe. Isaiah also tells you in 33 and 6 that, that knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. Right? That's how we're going to be secure because the Lord is going to be doing the watch over. Okay? Guide you. Go over here. Go over here, oh look, lift up that rock, find some food. Oh, go over here, you find some water. Go over here, you find some change, something to exchange for something else, you know? The Lord guides you every every way, every 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 step that you're taking in life. It tells you that a sparrow don't fall to the ground without the Lord knowing, not even a hair off your head. Verse 16, if a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her and his generations shall hold her in possession. And that's what they wanted. Psalms, uh, that's what the wicked wanted against us. Psalms chapter uh, 83, to cons uh, verse 4, consented against us to cut us off from being a nation. So they don't want us with that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Because if you have one man, then that one man giveth thought to another, and he preaches on to another, and so on and so forth. And then your generation shall be 
all right, it shall be okay. Because that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of your Hawba Shim Yashai would be there. Right? But in, in, in these times, it was hardly preached, right? Until Abba Bibbins. You know, the elders before our elder apostles. Then now our apostle elders. Now us coming up, right? For at first, for at first, she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her uh, discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. Okay? <laughs> wow. Yo, this is the same thing we've been telling you individuals, man. About these individuals out here, even the even the even the spirit itself says, try the spirit. Don't just join up with them. Try the spirit. Even when you're getting into a marriage, right? You don't just say that. Yeah, let's just marry. This is our first date. Let's just marry. Yeah, sure. Then you married a damn dragon. Okay, you married a damn dog, a slut, a hoe. Okay. Next thing you know, you're going to work. You're coming back, and you finding orgies in your house. You, you didn't try out the spirit. You didn't know who the hell you were with. The same thing with Sophia. Sophia's trying us out. And that's all through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Right? And the Lord rewardeth and giveth unto you. And at what? At your desire, you can have her. You can have this knowledge, wisdom, understanding at thy desire. Okay? So Iraq chapter 6 and verse 37. And, and not to be wicked. To do righteousness, right? To guide you out of situations. That's how the Lord speaketh unto us through these scriptures. Okay? And that's why we can have it at our own desire, at our own uh, leisure, right? It's right there for us, not for the rest of the world. Second Ezra, uh, Salakia, Sirach, chapter 6, and verse uh, 37. Let thy mind be upon the ordinance of the Lord. And meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thine heart, thy mind, and give thee wisdom at thine own desire. You see that? Anytime in a situation, you need to get out of that situation. That's it. Crack open the books. The books damn near in you. Okay? So you'll know. You'll have that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, a, for a forehead, before you get into some kind of problem. Before you get into some kind of issue, okay? The Lord already gave you the instruction, right? With all that getting, get on. Let me get that real quick. Proverbs uh, 4, 7. Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is, is the principal thing. Therefore, Get wisdom, and with all that getting, get understanding. And how are you going to do that? Through these scriptures here. Through the men of the Lord who are on the highways and byways here, teaching you, okay? Who are giving you that instruction. Who are telling you not to be fucking uh, lesbians, hoes, flames, all of that stuff right there. Romans chapter 1 and 28. The Lord gave them over to those vile affections, okay? They, they want to rub... They want to, the, what would they say? The woman doing what is uh, unseemly with the woman and the man doing that which is not seemly for a man and man to do. The Lord gave you over to those vile affections. He doesn't like you. He doesn't want you. Okay? And these churches will not tell you these things because the word of God is not with them. Okay? The Lord is not with them. That's why they don't teach you the right way. That's why they don't teach you the uh, uh, proper instruction. Okay? All they're about is money and getting that bag. They don't care about the right way of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. They care about that money, that bag. Okay? That's their way. Anyways, going back into this. Go back to Proverbs chapter 1. Back to 
Proverbs chapter 1 and we go close it out. Hey, you just dropped something. Oh, I'm sorry, thank you. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 20. Wisdom crieth without, she utters her voice in the streets. And that's where we are right now, so everybody can hear, okay? She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city she uttereth her, vo her words, saying, How long will ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in the scorning, and fools hate knowledge, okay? The Lord is going to do a work here, man, where he's going to do away with all these people, man. But they didn't want to listen to the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. He didn't want to come and listen to this book, to these words. Okay? He didn't want to listen to what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai had to tell you to do. He didn't want to follow that instruction. He said to hell with those crazy guys with their aprons on on the street. Those, those guys wearing dresses. You know? <laughs> you know, we're fools made... Uh, what do you call it? We're fools for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's sake. Romans chapter 1 to 16. I'm not ashamed of this gospel, man. This is what I got to do. This is what I got to do. This is the way it was written. This is the way it was written. And that is that, man. So with that, let me close out. Back in the scripture that I started with. Isaiah chapter 34. Actually, you know what? Hold up a second. Yep, Isaiah, uh, I'm going to go Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Seek ye out the book of Yahweh and read, None one of these shall fail, none shall want or mate, for my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it gathereth them. Okay, so the Lord is telling you to read out of this book, read out the instruction book, and there's nothing that you can mate with it, blend with it, like that Quran, that filthy book, man. That is not a book. That's not a whole, holy book. Okay? That's not the words of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Sure, maybe they took a little bit here, a little bit there, and, and blended it in. But that's not the words of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. That's not the true, unadulterated word of the Lord, man. Everything is written right here. Right here. This is all you need right here. Okay? Your 1611, which is comprised of the apocryphal. Bible Destruction Group is the ones that took the Apocrypha out, all right? And you'll notice, if what? Study to show that self approved Rightly dividing the Word of God. But these motherfuckers out here in this church, they ain't doing that. They ain't rightly dividing the Word of God, are they? They're not rightly dividing that Word of Truth, which is the Word of God, okay? Now, this is what the Lord has set us to do, okay? His men, Lord willing that we be those prophets, and Lord willing that we be the elect. This is what the Lord has set us to do, okay? Isaiah chapter 30 and verse uh, 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. And that's why we're out here on the highways and byways. You could actually see us. You could walk up to us. You could talk to us. You know what I mean? We're not going to bite. We're going to give you the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, which is probably going to bite you, but we're not going to bite. We're going to tell you the real way. We're going to show you the real way. Because the scriptures say what? And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left. So this is the straight way, man. Okay? No matter what you're talking about, no matter where you go, no matter what it is, this is the way. Okay? The only way. All right? And you're supposed to turn back E from doing your wickedness and follow on to those voices. No matter where they may be in the world. Because they're set there for what? For you to hear the words of instruction. So with that... With that, Akim, Lord willing, to next week, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rokakudash.
Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom, Akim. Matthew chapter 24 and 13 to you all. Lord willing, till next week. I hope you're edified. Wa abad babal, abad babal, abad babal. Shalom, Akim. Another day closer to the kingdom, man. You know, Lord willing. Shalom, Akim. Lord willing, till next week.